This is the Riverhawk Report, the winter break upon us, and we thought it would be a good time to check the pulse of UMass Lowell Athletics, a mid-season report for the winter sports teams. We will take them individually, and we will do that in a series of reports. We start on this day with women's basketball. Five wins, three losses in their first eight games, a conversation now with the head coach, a conversation with Kathy O'Neill. At this point, eight games in, five wins, three losses. Are you satisfied with those numbers? Do you like where your team is, the way they're playing basketball at the moment? I like that we've grown. Obviously, I would like to have a better record with that. So um, I'm pretty neutral right now. I can't say that I'm positive. I can't say I'm negative. I, th- I think we could be better, and I think we could be worse. Where we are is is okay, but we we got to keep working on that. Let's take scores out of it. Let's take wins and losses out of it. Do you like the way this team approaches the game of basketball on the floor. Absolutely. What I like about this team is basketball is important to them, and that's something that's not always the case. In any, I mean, I think every coach wants to see that with their team, whatever the sport, and these guys take it seriously, and I think we will get better. Unfortunately, so will the games that we play. You know, we're we're going to be playing it at a real difficult schedule, and, and we have to be prepared for that. This basketball team, and, and any basketball team, this early in the year, it's still evolving. Does this team seem to know what its identity is, understand what it needs to do to become what it can become to reach its full potential? You know, not at this point, but we're getting there. I mean, I definitely understand your question. I, I just don't think we're where we need to be right now, but I think we are getting there. And we have we have so many new faces on this team. I think we're all trying to figure out what we do well and what we don't do well. And, and certainly every game you can see us get a little better in that area. So do we know it yet? No. Are we improving in that area? Yes. You mentioned the new faces. And one thing that's jumped out at me, and I realize in college sports there are always new faces because there are always freshmen coming in. There are always uh, seniors who are graduating. But it seems as though these new faces are contributing more quickly than is typical, and thus it appears this team's got more depth than it's had in a while. We do have some depth. I mean, that's that's a nice thing. We, when you say new faces, so we also have, we're really kind of, I don't know if a dichotomy is a true word, but we're seniors and freshmen, or seniors and new kids. So, you know, that presents challenges for us, and I think we're, I think we're doing a much better better job you're right at this point to understanding but I still think we have we have a ways to go in that area as you look at this team are you excited by the potential that's here sure I always am though I mean I, I you know what this is a fun group we work hard we embrace hard work I think that's one of the you know we had talked a little bit about judgment day when we did the judgment day program I think that's one of the things that we set as one of our goals this year is to come out and, and work hard every day and we enjoy that and that's makes my life much easier obviously as a coach because the the X's and O's, you're always going to have good and bad in that area, but if you can come out and, and play hard all the time and work hard all the time, you're just quite simply going to get better. What's the difference for this team on a day that it plays well as opposed to one that it doesn't? When we play well, we defend well and we rebound well. Those are two keys for us because, as you said, with so many f- new faces, and, and I, I mean any sport, offensively, it's always incon- you're always inconsistent. You just Some days you can shoot the lights out or whatever sport it may be, do do whatever, and in other days you don't. But you can always defend and you can always rebound. And I think when we do those two things, we can compete. The fun stuff and the headline stuff is scoring points. In just about all sports, is it tough to convince athletes who want to score points that they've got to play defense, that they've got to rebound, that in effect all offense comes from defense? Sure. I will say with this team, the nice thing is we've had strong leadership, and I think both Jen Valente and Chrissy Little know that and have set that tone that we have to come out and we have to de- defend. And it's much easier for me because they'll hold their teammates accountable. And and obviously peer pressure is probably the, the greatest thing that you can can have positive or negative I guess negative you don't want it but positively uh, you know they, they challenge each other and and the rest of the kids are starting to get that idea that this is what we need to do so that, that's fun shooting a skill defense may be hard work from what you've told me about this team and its work ethic I've got to think defense will come I hope so I, I see glimpses of us really you know if we just get down and we really do it and then other times I just we're not there <laughs> 
you know. So, but you're right. Defense is something that where we can be more consistent night in and night out. And if we can do that, we're going to be a much better basketball team. Anybody surprise you this year? Surprise me? I don't know. I guess our senior class. Again, I think Jen Valente has been terrific. Uh, done a great job for us leadership. You know, she's kind of this is her team. She's kind of make made it known that this is what she wants. And Chrissy Little has just been tremendous. I mean, she's given us so much effort and energy and understanding. And, uh, you know, those two kids really have bought into what we're trying to do. And I think they've gotten the rest of the team. You know, obviously, our freshman class has contributed tremendously. Bianca Simmons has you know, she was a rookie of the week, I think, one week. So she's she's given us some energy and some ability. And uh, our other guard, Brianna Calver, has done a great job. And uh, Sarah Bennett and, and um, Z, Brianna Zydek, the, the four of them, the freshmen, have really uh, given us a shot in the arm energy-wise and just wanting to play. But I said, as I said, basketball is important to them, so it's nice. Have they surprised you a little bit? And the reason I say that is we all uh, recruit freshmen with high hopes, but you really don't know because this is a brand new level of basketball. Have they surprised you a little bit at how quickly they've seemed comfortable? Sure, I think there's always, as you said, you you surprise. You never know. You're right. You never know whether you're. You know, for example, I think Shanae Bushner is probably been one of our better players this year and she struggled last year as a freshman so you you're right you never know what's going to happen with them uh, coming in it, because it's a big adjustment college is a big adjustment I, I mean I always tell them I said you know remember what it was like when you're a freshman in high school well this is even more difficult because you're you don't have your mom and dad there to do your laundry cook your dinner drive you places <laughs> you know it, it, you have the adjustment of college itself besides the adjustment of being a basketball player in college. How good a team can this be, do you think, during that second half? I don't know. I, you know, we could be good if we continue to grow. I mean, we've, t- we've talked about that. I think if we continue to understand and uh, the more that we learn what our roles are and what we need out of everybody, we could be good, you know. But if we don't, then we're going to struggle. I mean, there's no, there's no question. That's just how every team works. Kathy, thank you very much, Coach. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Thanks, Bob.